OK, so let's say I've been given some summary statistics. Now, when we talk about summary statistics, what we mean is that you've been given the component parts um, of the statistics uh, to then be substituting them into the formula for standard deviation, OK, and the mean. So you'd be given n is 10, for example, sum of x and sum of x squared, OK? Now, in the question here, we're asked to find the mean standard deviation and sample standard deviation, OK? Now, the mean, so the mean value, you need to remember, OK, because this isn't given to you, you need to remember that that is the sum of the x's divided by how many there are, OK? You know that from GCSE, it's just written in um, summary statistic form. So that would be the 297 divided by 10, and so 29.7 is the mean. So that's my x bar. OK, that's the first bit. Now the standard deviation Now we know that that's given to us as the square root of the sum of x minus x bar all squared divided by n. However, there is the alternative formula that we can utilise that is also given to us. Okay, so that is uh, the, we've got the sum of the x bar squared divided by n. Take away x bar squared square rooted. Okay. So now that we've got the information that is required here, we've got the summation of x squared, the 15503. We need to divide by n. OK. And then we need to take away the mean squared, so 29.7 squared, and then square root. So we want to pop that into our calculator. It's so a square root of 15503 uh, divided by 10. Take away 29.7 squared. So that gets us 25.8 to 3 sig fig. OK. Now, if you are doing OCR MEI, then you would need to have the SXX formula, divide that by n minus 1, and then square root. OK, so you'll get a slightly different answer, slightly uh, larger answer. Now, that would be for us to find the sample standard deviation. OK, so the sample standard deviation... Okay, is equal to the square root of SXX over N minus 1. Okay. Now, the thing is, the thing is that um, for AQA, Edexcel, OCR, um, although they could ask you for the sample standard deviation, you haven't been given the SXX formula in... Uh, your formula booklet, OK? Um, so unless you know how to rearrange this back into the format that you need, um, then this question is really going to be inaccessible to you. So in all likelihood, they're not going to ask you to find the sample standard deviation from summary statistics, OK? However, um, I say it's unlikely, but who am I to guess exam boards here, OK? So I would be prepared to know that SXX formula. And the way to go back on it, right, the way to go back is just to look at this one, OK? And so I'll just rewrite it just so you can see how this is going to work. OK. 
Okay, you just go back to that, continue that line across, okay, so that the whole thing's divided by n. But in order to do that, you'd have to have this as, have n as a multiplier there, the x bar squared, okay? You've now got it into sxx over n. So then you can subtract your 1. So that reverts it back. So now, if I'm going to use my summary statistics, I've got the 15503. Take away uh, n, which is 10, times by the mean squared, so 29.7 squared, divided by n minus 1, square rooted. So we've got the square root of 15503, take away 10 lots of 29.7 squared, divided by 9, and you get 27.2 to 3 sig fig. So if MEI had asked for the standard deviation here from the summary statistics, then that is the answer we would have been looking for. If uh, we're in AQA at Excel OCR, then the sample standard deviation is given by 27.2. As I said, it's unlikely to be asked this because you're not given that formula and you would need to work it backwards in the way that I just showed. However, it's not beyond the realms of uh, capability here. So just be aware um, of that type of problem.